Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're doing another storm anatomy guide and this one is from May 10, 2017. We've got a distant view of a developing supercell. Oh my gosh, this is very beautiful. You see, you know, the first thing to notice, look at the crispness of the edge of the updraft. Look at that, look at it all the way up. That is a sign that this storm is getting stronger. We're in good shape today. You can also see the low level clouds and the anvil are spreading in two different directions. Really good sign we got good low level shear. You can see how that updraft base right there is lowered a little bit. We need to watch that for sure. But another thing to notice, we got two storms in this frame. You can't really see the other one, but now you can right there on the right. And then you have this one. That's because this is the tail end Charlie of a line. The south storm, it's not a hard and fast roll, but in this case, in my opinion, it's very clear for, you know, seeing the storm, beautiful photogenicness. This is the storm to be on. So some other anatomy features to look at on this one. You have, well, simple put, you have the downdraft there on the right. There's the updraft. I mean, those are very simple. You can also see what appears to be an inflow band coming in from the left. And this seems to be an outflowy feature. It could be from storm two. We'll have to keep an eye on it. And look underneath the updraft. It looks like it's raining underneath it. That's actually just an optical illusion. That's the rear flank downdraft. That thing is just so long and stretched out. That's because this storm is stretched out because of the shear in the atmosphere today. Also very important, look at that clear air. This is a good sign. When you're dealing with a linear scenario and you get down to a tail end Charlie and it looks like this, that's a good sign you're gonna have an isolated storm. So let's take a look. This is what it looks like on radar. And you can see that stretched out RFD. It's across the river in Texas actually. And you, then you can see the strong core. Very simple, but hey, this is how storms work. And let's take a look at it going a little bit faster. 